In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we'd like to show you how to use a lower third with a bar using the advanced title tool in PowerDirector version 17. You can do this with all the other versions, but I'd like to show you how you can implement it in a different way in version 17. We have a video on track number one, simply of a car moving down the road. What I'd like to do is add a title. A lower third. So I'm going to click on the T for my title room or I can press the F7 key. And we'll take the generic one here, the default plain vanilla my title, and drag it down and drop it into track number two. We can press the F2 key or double click on it and that will get us into our revised title designer in PowerDirector 17. There are a couple things that are different in this one. You'll notice all the categories are the same, except we have a new one here called Backdrop, and that's one we're going to use. We also have the th same three tabs we had in the earlier version. When we click on Effect, we have another one called Special Effects. We'll have another tutorial on that one. But now I have my My Title, and let's change the font a little bit. Uh, let's go to a Tahoma. We'll make that a bold one and then let's make it smaller maybe something like this and then i'm going to drag it down near the bottom uh, within my safe zone and now we're going to use a new tool called backdrop if i click on backdrop now i have a backdrop behind that particular title let's look at how what we can do with that the default is to fit it with the title, so it's the same height and width with a little bit of margin above and below the title. The default type is a uniform color, and the width and height are 1.0. We have an opacity of 70% and an offset X and Y of 0. Let's experiment with this a little bit, see what we can do. I'm going to click on the uniform color. We'll leave it uniform, but we'll make it a lime green. I'll click there. And then what I'd like to do is look at the edges. If I fit it with the title, I can use an ellipse. I can use a rectangle. I can use the curved edge, which is where we started out with, slightly curved, and then a rounded rectangle, which is more curved. We'll go back to the straight rectangle in this case. I also can change the opacity. I can change the height and width, but watch what happens when I move the slider. It moves uniformly. So what I want to do in this case is turn off maintain aspect ratio, and I'm going to maximize the width. Now I found out all I can do is double it. And I wish I could triple or quadruple it. I'll show you why in a moment. But then I'm going to use the offset. If I use the offset X, it will move it to the right. And what I'd like to do is make this so it is a little bit like a line coming in from the right. I'm going to narrow it just a little bit more. Turn the uh, height back. And then what I'd like to do is take the whole thing and move it to the right. Now they're bound together. And now I have the My Title. Let's uh, adjust it a little bit more. I'd like to add a shadow and we'll make it a 2. And that's, that's workable there. The next thing I'd like to do is, in this, I'd like to work on the position. I'm going to move a little bit into it, a couple of seconds, two and a half seconds roughly, and click a keyframe to set the position. And then we'll move back to the beginning. And if I look carefully at the controls here, the, the Y position is 843, the X is 672. So I'm going to move it off the screen. And I want to make sure this is 813. Now it will move horizontally. When I play it, 
it comes in together as a part of a screen as a title. Another option that you have is you can change the backdrop type to solid background bar. Let's do that. And now we have a solid bar that goes across the screen. I'm going to drag my title down and the bar moves with it. They're married together. And then we're going to remove the keyframes here. And we'll set a keyframe over here. Like this. And then back up to the beginning and move our title off the screen. Again, I want to remember the coordinates, especially the Y value, and it's 843. So at the beginning, we'll move back off the screen, and it's 843. So we're fine. It will be horizontal. I will save this, and now we'll play it using that bar. And now the title slides within the bar to the location of your choice. So those are two ways in which you can design a different kind of lower third using the new features within the title designer of PowerDirector 17.